decision was reached at a National Executive Council meeting held today on Thursday. Bashir Ahmad, an aide to President Muhammad Buhari, tweeted, and I quote, Following the recommendation of President Muhammad Buhari, the National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress has been dissolved, end of quote. The APC National Working Committee came to a head on Tuesday last week when the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja upheld the suspension of the party's national chairman, Adam Soshomale, by the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory. And joining us to discuss this is Kayode Shoyebi, who is a political analyst. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you for... Hello. Yes, you are live and we can hear you. Thank you for joining us. Now, how vital, yes. how vital is a national working committee to a party now that APC has dissolved theirs? What happens now? Okay. Uh, uh, basically, what happens is the national working committee is actually the one that manages the operation of a party. They, they deal with all the uh, segments of that party from state to state, to zones, to regions. So they, they, they are a very, very key uh, aspect of the party. And that's why, uh, uh, so to say, the, the party had actually uh, immediately selected a caretaker committee because they cannot do definitely without uh, a national working committee. So what they've done is just they've dissolved the one that existed before now, but they've also elected people, selected people who are going to take up that responsibility. So that's to tell you that the responsibility of the National Working Committee cannot be overemphasized. It's mm. very, very key. No. Okay. Will, will, will all of this internal crisis, in your opinion, not affect the party for general elections in 2023? What do you think? Definitely. Uh, the issue, the rancor we are seeing play out is not even uh, for the Edo or Ondo state election. It's actually, you are seeing the prelude, you know, to the 2023 election. With all of this internal crisis happening in APC, do you not think that this is going to affect them in terms of the general elections come 2023? Definitely, definitely. What you are seeing play out already is the interest, you know, divergent interest parties who form the position of APC. Are you getting me now? And they are already gearing up towards 2022 elections. You know, so, uh, if you look at the, the, the competition of APC before now, uh, you observe that it has ATN, you know, PDP, AMPP and CPC. These are categories within APC, as it were. And these, they all have their independent interest, you know, and composition. So uh, eventually, if this issue is not managed properly, it's challenging, if it's not managed properly, it's going to affect the party, you know, ultimately in 2022. Mm. But I, I'm happy I'm, the president has actually taken a bold step, you know, to resolve that matter. Now, what he has done is he has shifted the doomsday a, for, a day further, you know, to the convention which is going to happen in other six months. You understand? So now they have to focus on the election of Edo, make sure they, 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 they secure Edo, they will focus on Ondo, make sure they secure Ondo, and come back to, to resolve their grievances. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of issues. Yeah, because we I was just about to it, ask you, I was just about to yes. ask you that with this dissolution of the uh, National Working Committee, does this put to rest all the crises in the APC? <laughs> it won't. <laughs> the, the crisis already is deep. I, I, I actually wish the president had come up three weeks ago. Hopefully, the president, the governor of uh, Edo wouldn't have left the party. You know, and hopefully... The deputy governor of Ondo State could have led the party. But it's better late than never, you understand? So uh, the, the problem, the challenges are huge. They are going to combat them one after the other. But it borders basically on interest, you understand? So it's going to take time to resolve. Mm. It's not something they can do immediately. Then, I mean, this meeting that happened today was a much waited for meeting. Did you anticipate this kind of drastic decision, if you like, of the dissolution of the National Working Committee? Yes, 
that's the only thing that could have saved the party. Because ordinarily, uh, there are too many uh, uh, power interests. You know, you, you have you, you, you have been having occasions and transfers of power from point to point. And unfortunately, we have the judiciary coming to play a very sad role in this party management. You know, so the only thing that will have saved is to take out all these people who are fighting for this leadership, you know, and bring an independent person to manage and tell the affairs of the, of, the, of the party, you know, for them to be able to prepare themselves. If you recall, they have just about four days to submit someone's name uh, for, for a good election. They are already almost losing that opening. You, you understand? So it, it, it was a good decision. I, I really hope that, I really feel they should have done that three weeks ago. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's coming in late. Yes. All right. Political analyst Kaede Shoebi, thank you very much for being with thank us. Thank you for having me.